Apothic Inferno is a wine with a whiskey soul. Apothic Inferno is a red blend that was aged in a whiskey barrel. 60 days aged in a whiskey barrel. And oh, did wonderful things happen to that wine during those 60 days. It picked up wonderful notes and aromas of maple sugar, vanilla, spice, oak. It's fabulous, very intense. Apothic has a full line of wines. They're amazing, they're affordable, they're accessible, and they're wonderful to enjoy with many things. I suggest you try out their line and take a look at other wines that they have. But the one that we have right now, Apothic Inferno, is wonderful. It's red hot blazing with characteristics. It pairs beautifully with hamburgers. If you're grilling on the barbecue, ribs, absolutely pork dishes, meat lovers pizza, eggplant parmesan and chicken parmesan it's medium weight has a medium body to it and as you can see it has legs if you've never heard that term before legs of a wine is when it runs down the side of the bottle or the glass in this case and you can see the residual effect that's the wine's legs or it can also be referred to as tears did you know that the average oak barrel has between 26 and 34 pieces of wood? That's right. What happens with the whiskey barrel after the whiskey has been fermented and aged in the barrel? They're refurbished. They're ready for wine. And that's what Apothic Inferno has done. This is a wonderful wine, very approachable, very nice. I hope you try it. See, I love wine. I want you to love it too. Vietti Barbera di Asti is an Italian red wine. Our friends in Italy make exceptional red wines. They're full of passion, they're full of depth, characteristics of the Italian landscape, the Italian people. Barbera di Asti is certainly a testament to that. It has 14% alcohol, which means it has a little bit of giddy up and go, as I like to say. It's from the Piedmont region of Italy. It's a medium bodied wine but it certainly is characteristic of a full body. And let me tell you why. It's been in oak casks for 11 months, which gives it time to soak up depth and style and characteristics that really make it a drinking pleasure. In fact, it puts the pleasure in paradise. It has notes of vanilla, caramel, and ripe cherries. That's one of its signatures, that ripe cherry taste. It has a beautiful color, as you can see, and it has what I like to call great legs. That's the term, legs. When you swirl a wine, and please make sure you swirl your wine before tasting it, that's part of drinking, is enjoying the swirl of the wine. It's done in the wrist. Not a rocking motion, not in the arm, but it's done in the wrist. You can take in those amazing aromas and see the legs. The legs are the residuals that come down onto the glass back into the wine. They're also referred to as tears. But this particular wine has great legs and it pairs beautiful with pasta dishes. Marinara dishes, absolutely. Pasta and meatballs, one of my favorites. It goes beautiful with any type of pasta dish, eggplant parmesan, chicken parmesan as well. Dishes with light gravies. It really can be paired with salmon also. So this is why. Salmon is referred to as the meat of the sea, so it has a heavy consistency to it and will pair beautiful with the Barbera di Asti. Please try this wine, it's amazing. Don't hesitate to try Italian red wines, they're fabulous. I love wine and I want you to love it too. Cheers. <music>